Hello everyone, this is Miss Brianna, one of the teachers in the nursery at Church by the Sea. It's so good to see all of you here with us today for our Sunday Zoom lesson. Good morning, this is Miss Susie, uh, one of the teachers in the nursery at Church by the Sea. I'm happy to be here again virtually. And we're going to start today with our welcome song. Hello, everybody. So glad to see you. Hello, everybody. So glad to see you. Hello to Danilo. So glad to see you. Hello to Ariella. So glad to see you. Hello to Azai. So glad to see you. Hello to Hugh, so glad to see you. Hello to Henry, so glad to see you. Hello to Pete, so glad to see you. Hello to Leonardo, so glad to see you. Hello to Miss Susie, so glad to see you. Hello to me, Brianna, so glad to see you. Thank you. And Miss Susie is going to lead us today with our story. Yes, and we are going to continue our story about Moses, his relationship with God. So let's get ready. The title of today's story is Moses Thinks About God. It was the middle of the afternoon. Moses was sitting outside the tent. He wanted to be away from the people for a while so that he could be alone with God. Moses found a rock that felt comfortable to sit on. He curled up on that rock and thought about God. I wonder what God looks like. I want to see God, Moses said to himself. Moses looked around. He could hear the quiet bubbling sounds of a river. And standing in the river were two women helping each other wash clothes. Moses looked in another direction and heard the colorful bird chirping in the tree. And under the tree, a man and his son were helping each other gather branches and twigs for a fire. Then Moses looked into the distance. Some sheep were still nibbling grass, while other sheep were dozing. And nearby, two young people were helping each other care for these sheep. Moses thought about everything he had seen and heard. And then Moses thought about all his friends who loved and cared for each other. Deep within and all around, Moses knew and felt God's love and goodness. Moses knew that even though he couldn't see God, God was here and Moses could feel God's love when he was sitting by the creek, sitting on a rock outside his tent, experiencing the sights and sounds around him, or feeling love from his friends. Now, Moses began to understand that is not a human being like God. That is not a man or a woman. That is not old or young. God is different from anything we know. I can feel God all around me, Moses said. It was such a wonderful, wonderful feeling. So what, what can we take about, of this story is that even though we cannot see God, we can feel his presence in our life. And we, can, we know that he's around us, always watching over us, taking care of us, and we can always talk to him whenever, whenever we need. Uh, I just wish you have a wonderful weekend. May God be with you all. And um, hopefully we'll see you soon in person. Go ahead, Ms. Rihanna.
Yes, hopefully. What a beautiful story for today. Now we are going to finish with a little song to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Show, show, show God's love as you run and play. We can follow Jesus' way every, every day. Show, show, show God's love as you share your toys. We can follow Jesus' way every, every day. Show, show, show God's love as you smile at others. We can follow Jesus' way every, every day. Thank you again for joining. <laughs> and we will see you next Sunday. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye, Miss Susie. Bye. Bye, Miss Brianna.